Virtual Cocktails. My name is Kenzie. I'm Astrid. I'm Sweezy. Hello, I'm Brandy. Brandy, thank you for being our guest star today. Yes, thank you guys so much for having me. Of course. Before we get into today's topic, I wanted to remind everyone that you should watch your mouth because if you say a cuss word, you'll have to take a shot. So now that everyone is on the same <laughs> page, uh, today's topic is going to be who should be the main provider in a relationship. Do we think it's the man? Do we think it's the woman? Should we have equal, uh, both people be providing the same amount? What, what do we think? It's a man. It's a man's job? Yeah. I like that. He definitely should be the leader. Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how do you think that the leader and the provider tie into It's almost together? synonymous. I, I feel like it's almost synonymous, but it, it, even if so. But it's not because before y'all even get ready to attack me, it's not coming from a chauvinistic standpoint because at the same time, I feel like the average woman is smarter than the average male. That goes with what I'm saying. But y'all emotional creatures, bro, ain't nobody... I, I'm. Nobody exempt. My mama, your mama, okay. you. Yeah, it, it, a lot of decisions. A lot of times, things happen, and and, and y'all emotions get the best of y'all, and y'all make sometimes make decisions to protect y'all feelings, but it can jeopardize your future in the big picture. Mm -hmm. So, but with that being said, though, I feel like as a man lead, he should definitely take how his woman feels into consideration, and sometimes she can see things that you can't see, and we know she can get in places you can't get in. Yeah. So don't be completely oblivious or just downplay like she don't know nothing. But right. at the same time, do your thing. But at the same time, now if you in some women, you have alpha women, and if she ain't following you, bro, or you can't, you ain't leading her right, or you constantly making mistakes, she may not be the one for you because she gonna take control. And then as a man, I, I don't like. It's just all on you. I've been seeing women like handling dudes, and I'm just not for it. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Um, I think me, I think the men, but at the same time, you know, there's some days where I want to help out and, you know, just to be, you know, just to, just to help out. Like one of those days, like, hey, babe, let me help you out. Let me just like, don't worry about this. I got this. Like you can use that money to spend on something else, something mm -hmm. for you or whatever. But because at the same time, some guys be like. I don't like to be in the, you know, where it's like, oh, well, I paid this for you and I paid this for you. Like, nah, That's hold corny, up. That's corny, though. Hold it. But some guys are like that. So I'm going to be like, hold up, they nah, because really I paid she this right. time and this time and this time. Mm -hmm. You know, because I got my own money. Like, I got, you know, I'm not a broke. <laughs> I'm not a broke. <laughs> mm -hmm. She said she's going to save that shot for later. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't but, feel like a real nigga supposed to keep receipts and be like, I did this, this, way. But some I, guys are like But don't do it if you can't do it, bro. Like, real. Mm -hmm. But don't, don't do it if you can't do it. Like, yeah. don't, you know, like, if not, if you're going to throw it back you in somebody's face. face. Like, mm -hmm. if I did something for you, it was from the kindness of my heart. I'm, there's nothing I'm ever going to throw back in your face because yeah. that's like, you know, like, like, that's just weird to me. Because then you shouldn't have did it if you couldn't afford to do it. Or mm -hmm. if you were doing it to control somebody, then you should have let that be mm -hmm. known there's, because y'all can have y'all agreement. There's some and guys like on that. that way, and then, they, you know, girls let them get away with it, so that's what y'all get. Mm -hmm. All right. Brandy, what's your take? I, I feel like if a man is in a position to lead, if he's a good leader, definitely. But not not so much saying that he's the provider and the leader, because sometimes the woman is bringing in more financially. Um, sometimes it might be wiser for her mm -hmm. to pay all the major bills while the man is still being the leader. I know that some women, some ladies... They don't they don't want that. They can't be the one that's the breadwinner and, and providing for the whole household and taking care of everything financially and still have that man leading. Like mm -hmm. he said, it might be a she might be an alpha female and still wants all that power. Or it's a it's a situation where it's a lot of women where they it's opposite effect. If they don't have any um control, if they don't have anything, any power at work, they bring it home. Mm -hmm. They'll have all that power at home and then it's vice versa. If the man is the one leading at home, then they're at work. That that's where they have their power at, but I, I I just feel like to me, if I'm in a relationship, if if my man is a good leader, if I've seen he if he has the resume to be a good leader, or if it's getting to that point where he has a good vision, 
and I can I can see that potential, then I'm gonna let him lead. Mm -hmm. Whether or not if he's the, the sole provider, or if I'm the sole provider, if I know that he's making good wise decisions, now don't be a leader. And you talking about yeah, let's go buy five yachts, and now we mm -hmm. don't have nowhere to live. So now yeah. you gotta stay on water. you gotta stay on the water. I don't want to stay on the water. I want to be a house like land. So you can't you can't be a yeah. At least yeah, you, you got, got five yeah, yachts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, well, you yeah, can't yeah, be yeah. out living in no apartment and have four luxury vehicles. That's yeah. that's you not being a good leader. Gonna make you a mermaid. Right? Don't make me no mermaid. I like my feet. I pretty toes. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I just just be a good leader. That I mean, that's my main thing. And you gotta show. You gotta let put your money where your mouth is. You gotta. Put forth the work. You gotta have that good resume mm -hmm. with being a leader, and oh, and don't be it. don't yeah. be like timid and stuff. I can't stand like a a timid man. Like he seemed like he wanna lead, but then he wanna see what I'ma say. Mm -hmm. My heart's gonna make him feel. He don't wanna offend me. He don't wanna lose yeah. me. So he'll be like, well, you know, maybe we should. Ain't no maybe. Now you put your foot down and you say you wanna do this. You wear the pants. Damn it. I mean, yeah. I wear the pants too. God, it's not bad. <laughs> 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 I can make it with dignity. Okay. Yeah, I mean that's my thing. Just be a good leader. Yeah, don't that, lead yeah. us in the water. <laughs> yeah, stay out of the water. Cause that alpha female, that's a control freak. She had to find she self by she self. I, I ain't going for it. Like I could. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But really. But it's so she is like if she's too powerful and it ain't even about being powerful. Like, yeah, I, I mean if she, in her head she powerful, yeah, but it's just a respect factor. Like I'm yeah. not finna, gotta have respect. Like you not gonna yeah. handle me. Like no man, no. No woman, nobody. You know I'm yeah. a dictator. I don't answer to nobody but God. And so. And, well, for me, I just feel like that's a part of the criteria I'm looking for in a man because mm -hmm. as a woman, I feel like naturally we are submissive creatures. So we look to a man to lead us. Yes. Because I don't think that it's natural for a woman. Every woman's different. Mm -hmm. I can't speak for every woman, but I think naturally as a female, if you're with the right man, you're going to naturally be more submissive and you're going to look to him to lead. That's mm -hmm. right. With that being said, uh, I think... I stand with traditional beliefs as far as the man being the main provider, but I never want to get into a situation where I'm relying on someone mm -hmm. for my yeah. livelihood yeah. so that if there's a bad situation, I can't leave. Mm -hmm. Like I want to have my own and I want to be able to contribute because that's what I want to do. And if I need to get out of the situation that I can, but if I'm with a man and it's a serious relationship, he better be the main provider and he better be able to leave. For sure. Yes, me. And I at what sure. point do you stop following and you realize that maybe you shouldn't follow this dude? So the relationship may be over. Or is it not over? Do you just take over? Do you take control? If I was in a situation where mm -hmm. I wasn't agreeing with the majority of choices that my man was making, I would just kind of call it quits at that point because mm -hmm. if I'm not in agreement with some major decisions he's making, and I don't feel like he's being a good leader for the both of us. Mm -hmm. Not only that, but is he managing his own life well? And if I don't see that he is, then I'm out of there. Yeah. There's no reason yeah. for me to still be a part of that relationship. Mm -hmm. Depends how you move. You see how yeah, you move. But at what point, and then if you right? have equity, because I feel like a lot of times people just, they comfortable, they just feel like they trapped in a situation or in a relationship. They force themselves to stay there when you know you should go. When the writing's on the wall, at what point do you you really get up and leave? I feel like every relationship is so different. Yeah. It, a relationship is like a snowflake. Like there's you're not gonna find two that are identical. They're not mm. the same. So it's really circumstantial when you're getting down to the nitty gritty of each relationship because everything depends on the circumstance. So I say, mean, so what would be some deciding factors like some some straws that's a, to break that's the a tough back, one. So um, to That is tough because you never know. Like mm. it, it's a catch twenty two because if you leave at that point where things are like looking bad and going bad, and then all of a sudden you left, and then it turns around, and yeah. now everything is good. I don't know if y'all ever seen the movie Acrimony. Yeah, Have you seen it? I, I heard about it. Wow, I heard about it. Watch that movie because it, it was a situation like that where the guy. He was she was trying and she was trying and she yeah. was staying they with him and it gets to a point. Though. Did he give us some money or something? You just watch the it's movie, the like you gotta watch Man, the I movie ain't because for Tyler Perry. He ain't I'm us no sorry, money. I'm sorry, but it, it, it it's a good movie. It it basically 
ties into this situation because it's like that's what I said, it's a catch twenty two. You don't know what the outcome's gonna be, what's gonna happen. Like if you stay with that person and y'all keep going down, what you gonna be doing? Living yeah. under a bridge if it's something he financially? Has to have, to have yeah. ambition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he's trying, if he's trying yeah. and actually like hustling, trying, but if he's just sitting here like just mm -mm. being negative, mm -mm. being mm -mm. like. Mm -hmm. No, he's spending his money like not on things that he don't need to be spending money yeah. on. If he's not spending like investing in stuff instead of like spending on clothes and jewelry right. and all that stuff, mm -hmm. that's not. You gotta make smart moves. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's not moves. just with financial, financial, but even though that's a big part of it, but you just you just gotta be. I have a lot going on up here. You don't yeah. find that in a lot of people. When you do find that in somebody, and you you can see that, then you know you got a good, mm -hmm. you know you got your man that you can stay down with. That's a good leader. That's gonna lead you in the right direction. Check I that resume. People mm -hmm. get so comfortable with being comfortable though. That's true. Though. And that's scary. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's scary instead of just being able to just like and that's what and but see I, I'm 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 a weirdo. Like I'm desensitized. I don't get attached to people, so I just mm -hmm. like whatever. But. Uh, I feel like people like they they have an attachment, but it's not even more so of an attachment. It is a fear of being by themselves. Right. Or, you know what I'm Definitely. saying? That time away from that person. You know what I'm saying? Because it's something new. And then time and invested. The unknown. Too. Yeah. And then like you say, you turn around and they on the up up, and now you seeing them with somebody else, and you yeah. screaming, "It should have been me!" Like. You know, so it, it, like you say, there's a lot of variables that play into it. But. Yeah, that could be a whole other topic on its own. Really, yeah. it's like mm -hmm. unhealthy relationships and the attachment that is developed there because it becomes like an addiction when you're comfortable. Mm -hmm. It does. Mm -hmm. Then you start being at home punching the air. Okay, so let's say there's a guy and a girl together in a relationship. The man was the main provider, mm -hmm. but let's say something happens. He gets sick or he's in an accident, he's paralyzed now, so he can't be the main provider anymore. But now the woman's got the bag. And the woman decides, okay, like, well, I don't want to take care of you. Like, she's cashed out her benefits and she's ready to leave. Do we agree? Do we disagree? Do we think she's trifling? God yeah. gonna handle you. Yeah, she's trifling. Is What's he getting a disability what? check? No. No? Okay. I mean, he's sick. <laughs> something happens I'm to just him. Kidding. Like, no, I don't know what the situation was, but. What type of equity do they have? Do he have in their relationship? So if he like, it depends how long and what all he mm -hmm. did for. Like if he took care of her for mm -hmm. a long amount of time and sent her to school. And yeah, so that's like her, five years. Yeah, and mm -hmm. yeah, and then she just dropped him like that. Like, nah, you don't do people like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's messed up. Uh -uh. And I hunt you. Like, <laughs> once I'm dead, it's not, I'm there every night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like Casper. Running the wall, <laughs> swinging my balls. Can you hear me? Every night. <laughs> you ain't gonna get no rent, no peace. No peace. <laughs> no, no, peace. Peace. No, no peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. <laughs> All right. So at the end of each episode of Controversial Cocktails, we like to ask a couple of questions that we get from our followers. Astrid, what's our first question? Okay. So we have. We have, okay, this is a long one. So, from the way I was raised, the man, as a man and as your man, I got you and everything that we need to survive. Everything you make, you stack it up and let's invest. Or if we need something extra, then we can go to that line of revenue for like a vacation or accessories, etc. If for some reason I'm going through a hard time financially or career wise, then I'll let you know and you help me get back to where I was and be my support. But other than that, as a man for my family, I got you and us and our kids, the bills, our food and our shelter, our transportation, schooling, all of that. You may be my lady and be my support and keep pushing me in my vision I have and let's build a legacy. If you want to work, great. If you don't, then that's perfectly fine. My goal is for my lady to legit have that option. Either way, we are going to be okay. Be by my side and I got you everything else. Gotcha. Man, so the, the question is, do, I, do we agree <laughs> with the statement? DM. What was that? From Jeffrey. All right, so do we agree with Jeffrey's statement? <laughs> yes or no? He's like in the middle. He's like, yeah, you I mean, want yeah, to, yeah. you can. If you yeah. don't, you, you don't. Like Sounds good. Mm -hmm. It look good on paper. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm going to Jeremy, I'm going to say, you're my lady, I'm going to say that, baby. Another one is, 
I'm you. I'm just traditional. Ooh. She shouldn't have to worry about bills. A man is a provider. Give her a house. She'll make you a home. That was dope. That's not like my grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she take care of the house. Yeah. He yeah. take care of the bills. Mm-hmm. My grandpa went to work. He had like nine kids. My grandma and but my grandpa did this thing, I guess. I don't know. But, yeah. man, he got nine kids, so he kept her busy. Yeah, they must have had no TV in their bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, you know, he went to work and my grandma saw like everything out. Like, you know. But so you handle your like business at work and when you come home, you don't need to worry yeah. about nothing. Laundry, everything. Kids, good. homework Stress done. Free. Stress free. Stress free. Take care of that. You just come sure home and peace. you sit down at the table and you got a hot plate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I, I like the traditional I like that. views. I, I like it. I like it. I, I agree with different that. Different strokes for, sure. for different folks, though. Yeah. That is true. <laughs> a lot of people. we're talking about those. Uh, we have one females. more. Um, somebody said men only because women be lazy. Mm-hmm. Well, there are some lazy men, too. Hold up. <laughs> I, Hold up. Like, I was about to say, <laughs> it's a lot of lazy women men. Are that is a weird stereotype. I don't know about that. I don't. I don't. Don't agree because there are just as many stereotype. lazy men. Yeah, people, humans. Uh, yeah, humans. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, men and women. So yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Lazy human beings. Wait, the, I don't agree with that one. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. <laughs> Why you read that out loud? I, I'm asking the <laughs> questions. You know, you could have skipped that one over. I'm asking questions. I was kind of showing. Yeah, we're not lazy. Yeah. I don't like that. Oh, I have one. Mm, Never mind. All right. Well, I think that was enough. Uh, On that note, women are not lazy. No. It could be men men or a woman. That's not a generalized statement. But thank you guys so much for watching Controversial Cocktails. And we'll see you next time. (laughs) Shut up.